Well, as always, this is very exciting um, to have the one, the only, Grant Ham Burger. Ham Burger. Ham Burger. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you are looking handsome today, fella. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, unfortunately, we only have a little bit of time for this because it took 20 minutes to reframe it for your giant size. Well, a little behind the scenes info. Ellie went right before me. Mm -hmm. And let's just say there's a couple inches height difference between us. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But, you know, we, we, we just don't have a lot of time. All that reframing, uh, we're going to try and do this very quickly. If she wears two foot tall stripper heels, we're the same height. But that's the only possible way. We've requested it, but she refuses to do so. <laughs> uh, it's not It's not in her rider. Yeah. Uh, Grant, you have been playing the same character on the Glass Cannon podcast for 150 episodes. Yes. And the times when you've got to play other characters in our bonus content and whatnot, people go nuts because they want to hear you play a new character. So how excited are you to play the character that you're playing in our new podcast? I'm super thrilled to be playing someone with a new perspective that hopefully, unless I mess something up in a combat, uh, will be around for a while. I mean, I got to play Orphos for a little bit, but, you know, he decided to seize that unimaginable power. Boom, lung ripped out. So I'm excited to just inhabit a character for a while. Um, and hopefully you'll let her live long enough oh a lady yeah this is very exciting grant where let's talk about what pushed you in the direction to come up with this character where do where did the inspiration for this character all come from so the inspiration for my character comes from a couple places one of which is the starfinder core rule book i totally fell in love with reading about all the different planets and i fell in love reading about all the different races and i landed upon the beautiful green jewel of castravel and I love the society there. I love that the the playable race from that planet are the Lashunta, and that they have a kind of merit-based and peaceful society. They kind of get along with everyone. So I like to play a character like that with not necessarily built-in racial tensions like I had with Baron and with, you know, played out with Lork and with Giants and whatnot. Um, but I also really like that the Lashunta have two different kind of subspecies or clades that they um, can join by choice or society in some instances chooses for them and kind of determines the thrust of their life. So that's where I was inspired by the flavor there. And I wanted to play a full spellcaster. Finally, I've been playing a barbarian from Skid's campaign. I'm playing a ranger in Ruins of Aslan, and I'm playing a gunslinger right now in Giant Slayer. And although they have a lot of fun tricks, I wanted to play someone that could really have all the arcane pool um, so I decided to play a Technomancer out of there. And I love the intersection within Starfinder's universe of magic and technology and how they can interact. And there's a lot of really fun feats and magic hacks and things that I'm going to be kind of selecting along the way to make that intersection as interesting as possible and hopefully interact in the game world in meaningful ways. Yeah, I mean, the intersection of magic and technology and hybrid items that you'll start to get involved in as the campaign uh, gets deeper into the story. I'm glad that you're going to be the one uh, kind of heading up that because your uh, attention to detail is going to really bring out the flavor of that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about her name because she's got a really cool name and a cool story behind the name. It was a name that I think when I first sent you, you were like, what the hell is this? Because you didn't yeah. know how to pronounce it, I right? I did. I didn't. I was like, is this Mei Zun? So it's Mei Shun Vanya. Mm. Uh, which I chose the first name, at least, uh, as an homage to my wife and her heritage. Uh, her family is originally from Hong Kong and Guangdong, uh, and they're Cantonese speakers. So I kind of was looking through different Cantonese names, and I found two different ones, and I made a portmanteau. Um, I could possibly be, you know, mispronouncing it, but in, in my mind, uh, those two words uh, mean beautiful jade. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Vanya, I believe, is... It's a, because you're such a huge fan of Chekhov's Uncle Vanya. Yeah, of course. You know, I love anything Russian. Let's talk a little bit about her backstory because she's got a really cool backstory. Just just like everybody else, the players at the table don't even know what's going on quite yet. But some do. Uh, what do you want to tell us without giving too much away? She had something terrible happen to her. And I know that's the crux and, and the hook for a lot of characters uh, but she was basically institutionalized at a young age and brought into the shadowy organization that was able to pick up on her uh, extraordinary aptitude uh, for psychic abilities. Lashantas are already um, 
psychically um, attuned because that was part of their evolution to survive on the planet to avoid threats. But in particular, Mei Shun um, always had extraordinary powers and uh, was abducted kind of at a young age. And we don't know all the details of, of this organization, um, but we can say that there were tests done on her. So she definitely went through all sorts of different trainings and, and kind of torturous scenarios. It was not a fun place to grow up. She was basically um, at the whims of, of this organization and there were things done to her. Well, Grant, you've yet again created a uh, very interesting character that I'm sure the fans are going to be really into. Anything else we need to know about her before we jump right into the episode? No, just that I think she is um, on the run. You can know that about her. Her background is that of an outlaw. And I can say that she is reticent about unveiling certain things about herself to the party at the beginning, as you might be in a situation on the run. But she's very ready to kind of uh, talk about things. And so I'm very interested to see within the course of the podcast if some more of the backstory that I really am excited about comes out through scenes we do or through conversation with other PCs. And that's why it's so much fun to record Glass Cannon. And I hope that's why people have fun listening. Well, Grant, we got a female Lashunta outlaw technomancer. I think you're going to do it justice. Any parting words for me and the people at home? Uh, yeah, uh, na sik teng yeti guandang wa, uh, na hai me gua yan. Them's fighting words. Let's go right now. You son of a bitch. based and has these two genetic clades that kind of guide people's lives along a certain direction by choice in some instances and by uh, by choice in some in should I take it over? I think you said certain erection. Yeah. <laughs> certain yeah. erection? I'm yeah. almost positive you said certain. Oh, my yeah. God. Certain I erection. Actually, <laughs> that was a before. <laughs> and you said it oh, man. Certain erection.